Hi, I'm Dr. Ranjana Mishra. I'm a clinical geneticist at Seeds of Innocence Fertility Center. Do you know that thalassemia is the commonest genetic disorder not only in India but also worldwide? In fact, highest number of children with thalassemia are born in our country and India is also known as the thalassemia capital of the world. A child with thalassemia is lifelong dependent on blood transfusion which may need to be given every 2 to 4 weeks. Bone marrow transplantation is the only curative treatment available for the disease. Therefore, there is immense financial, emotional and physical burden associated with the disease. A person will develop the disease if he or she inherits two mutated or non-functional copies from his parents that is one each from the mother and the father. If a person inherits only one non-functional copy, he or she is called a carrier or thalassemia minor. The frequency of thalassemia carriers in our population varies from 3% to as high as 17% in certain communities. A carrier is usually asymptomatic and never manifests the disease. However, when two carriers they marry and plan to have a pregnancy, there is a standard chance of 25% of having an affected baby in every pregnancy. So what steps can you take to ensure that you bring a thalassemia free baby in this world? The first step is to go for couple carrier screening that is you, uh, both the partners are tested for their car thalassemia carrier status which can be easily done by a simple blood test where we check for certain parameters like hemoglobin, red blood cells count, red blood cell indices and HPLC of the hemoglobin. If both the partners are found to be carriers, then you have the following reproductive options. Number one, you plan a pregnancy, a spontaneous pregnancy and go for prenatal diagnosis which can be done by a chorionic villus sampling in the first trimester. It is an ultrasound guided procedure where we take a placental biopsy, send the sample to the lab and check for the status of the fetus, where the fet whether the fetus is affected or not. If the baby is found to be affected, the couple is counselled regarding the outcome of such a uh, pregnancy, the lifelong uh, uh, blood transfusion which the child will need and they are given the option of discontinuation of pregnancy. The second option is to go for IVF pregnancy where we check the embryos by a procedure called PGTM or pre-implantation genetic testing for monogenic disorders. After testing the embryos, only the healthy embryos are transferred. The third option is to go for the change of gamete. That is, you go for either ovum donation or sperm donation. So you have seen how easily thalassemia, which is a common genetic disorder, can be screened and prevented in the future generation. Also, if there is an affected child in the family and if you have queries regarding risk and prevention, then, then you can contact on the number displayed or visit our center. Thank you.